So did Daniela Bregoli try to scam her fans on Instagram? Find out straight after this intro. This account is following this other account, okay? So with that being said, this is what the account looks like, guys. Look at this. So she's scamming everybody, getting $100 off of a bunch of people, um, and just making thousands of dollars in a day. Right, I'm gonna make I'm gonna I'm cover the story and then I'm gonna tell people that you try to sell me a fake story. But I'm about to get you. Laugh in the fast lane, we play our cards. Pray and we'll find out just who we are. Bitch, I've been a king. What up, everyone? It's your boy, Martin Lewis. It's your boy, Martin Lewis. Martin Lewis. Boy, Martin Lewis. What up everyone, it's your boy Martin Lewis Team Real, welcome to my channel where I call out fake YouTubers and talk about YouTube drama. So recently there's been an Instagram account under the name Daniela Bagoli. This fan account has been scamming people. One of these people are assuming that Danielle is behind this account and trying to pin it on her by telling me lies and trying to show that Danielle blocked this guy's wife. So if you are new to this channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button with the bell so you don't miss out on any of the drama. Make sure to smash that like button. Let's get this video to 2,000 likes. So let's get straight into the drama. So for you guys who have no idea who Daniela Bregoli is, she is an American rapper, her stage name being Bad Baby, one that went viral after her appearance on the Dr. Phil show and saying her famous catchphrase, I guess, Cash me outside, how about that? Catch me outside, how about that? Huh? Catch me outside, how about that? There were memes all over the internet with Cash Me Asa, how about that? People made songs about it. She collaborated with other popular social media stars on YouTube, Instagram. After that, she got into rapping and her music's quite very good. I'm impressed. I like it. And she ended up signing a record deal with Atlantic Records. She's also a YouTuber with over 2 million subscribers and on Instagram with over 11 million followers. Now, there is an Instagram fam account called The Bad Baby with over 400 and 78k followers basically this fan or creep because I don't know who is behind this account posts weird videos of Danielle some funny ones some like just inappropriate ones of a 14 year old girl shaking her booty it's just like really so I can see why this a fan account does have a lot of following because they make these little videos or either steal it from someone else I'm not sure because these type of videos are floating around on the fan pages of Danielle Daniela Bregoli, so yeah. Now, when I went onto the Instagram account, she was live, but it wasn't Danielle. It was, a, well, it was black. We don't know who was behind it. And she typed, DM me right now if you're interested in buying this account. Serious buyers only. It has 477K Instagram followers, and it's active. Catch me out, how about that? So she's telling everyone that she's selling this Instagram account. Now, a YouTuber by the name of non Challenge Prince with over 3,000 subscribers, Looks like he gained his following by a video that went semi-viral and has done a lot of videos as well on DMV Nation, the typical prank type of channels or reaction channels, I would say. Now, he uploaded a video called Danny Bregoli Scammed Us, Not Click Bait. <sighs> Should be Danny Bregoli Scammed Us. I'm bullshitting you because I want some views. So now he said in his video, he posted a live video saying she was selling this account knowing it was a scam. I took the opportunity to expose her. Yeah, right. I really don't believe that. I honestly think that he thought it was an opportunity to buy their account. But anyway, now all of this is in his video. So he's actually recording. So these messages are real and it is from the fan account. Anyway, he ends up saying how much she said. 100 pay pack, cash man shot, how about that? Sold, I'll take it. 100 and it's yours. Can you call me while I do it? 
Do I know it's held? I got the money now. Sorry, don't want people having my hashtag. He then says, I wouldn't do you like that. I'm 21 year old man with a wife and kids, six, seven, I t it. I don't know, is that his height? I don't know. She goes, yeah, I'm only 14, that's weird. He goes, exactly. I'm just saying call so I know it's held. I'm making a pay pal real quick. She goes, it's held. He goes, bet I'm making it now. She goes, okay. Yeah, I'm trying to get my followers up, especially on YouTube. You there? She goes, yes, did you create? He said something, I just fixed it. I don't know what he put, but it's done, what's next? She ends up saying, what's your email? I'll request, he gives the email she requested. He then says, and I can have their account? He goes, yes, absolutely, I'm selling it. Why would I keep it? Well, cause you're a f***ing scammer. I feel you, I, he goes, I feel you. I'm waiting on the request. So it looks like he gets the requests. She says, click on activity, see the activity. He goes, hold on, who's Quinesha Jackson? She goes, yes, I'm only 14, my cousin. Yeah, because, you know, Daniela Brigoli is really going to have a cousin named Quinesha Jackson. Like, yeah, I totally believe that. I'm going to send it. She goes, question mark, okay. And then he did end up sending it, $100. So he ends up sending this money and ends up being blocked by this account. Then he comes up with this conspiracy and thinks Danielle Brigoli is behind their account. Roll it. If you guys look closely here, um, it says followed by a bad baby. What I'm thinking is she's um here you go. What I'm thinking is she's using that account to make extra money. So she's scamming everybody, getting a hundred dollars off of a bunch of people, um, and just making thousands of dollars in a day. Now the wife ends up messaging the fan account saying that how much for the account I'll pay 350 and the fan account replies saying 400 PayPal. So not 100 now, 400. This would be crazy. She said 400 on PayPal. Let me see. All right, y'all. Now, first of all, just because Daniela Bagoli is following this account, it doesn't mean that it's her account. She actually follows a lot of her fan pages. Now, this girl is making a lot of money in her career, so I doubt it's her scamming. Like, I just doubt it. Now, you guys know how I feel about scam accounts. It's really annoying. Um, I just want you guys to know from now on when it comes to Instagram scam accounts follow me on Instagram And I won't be uploading those videos on YouTube. This is strictly YouTube drama Saying that Daniela Brigoli is a youtuber. So is this guy so I thought okay This is a good idea to cover it But for Instagram scam accounts if you want to know about that follow my Instagram and I will post those accounts on my story so you know who's scamming and stuff like that. My Instagram account will be in the description below. Anyway, Fraud Prince ends up messaging me asking if I will cover this story. I end up calling this man, getting more information and details because he's so tied up on thinking that it's Daniela Brigoli. And he even told me through a Snapchat that Daniela Brigoli went live and was like, hi bitches, I'm selling my account and logged off. And I was like, that doesn't make sense. Like, there's no way she would do that. Like, no way. The wife ends up telling me that she ended up messaging the Daniela Bregoli's real Instagram, the one with 11 million followers, and that she replied back. And then when I was like, okay, good. Do you have the receipts? Do you have the screenshots? She told me that she deleted it, and so did Fraud Prince. I don't even know their names, anyway which was so odd because why would you delete such evidence? Like, doesn't make sense to me. And so many things weren't adding up, it looked very sus, and it was complete bull. Now I'm gonna tell you everything I did to find out how this guy was lying. I also got him to confirm questions to me through Instagram so you guys will see that even though you don't have the discussion what we had on video because I didn't film all, I did film a little bit near the end when I like called him out for lying but at the start on another conversation I didn't record it so I had to ask him through message okay did your wife say did you tell me this just so I can get a confirmation but anyway let's go forward so I end up messaging him 
I asked him, and your wife deleted the message between her and Daniela with the 11 million following, question mark, because he basically said that his wife message, or he messaged Daniela Bagoli, the real one, through her Instagram account. He then lied to me and says, Yes, the worst part is she was just recently blocked, so she can no longer message her unless she's unblocked. You'd think she doesn't have the time for this considering Daniela's status, but she clearly has time to prevent her name being tainted. Now I asked more questions to confirm that he can't see the message or anything like that. I end up saying, but you can still see her message, right? Oh, and the live that's on her page now, that's the one you comment her on too, yeah? He goes, the deleted, as in like the deleted message? He goes, no. But when wifey offered 400, I guess she realized a connection and blocked her on that account too. I eventually asked him to go on Snapchat Live and show me that he was blocked. And he accidentally showed the message between Daniela, the real Daniela account, and his wife. The one that he said got deleted. Yes, I can do. Okay, so that's one message that you sent to her. Okay, so therefore, the wife didn't delete the message on the real Daniela Bagoli account. And your comment on her live, too, correct? Some of your fans? Because basically, he said that when she was live, he went on the live and was like, oh, you're a scammer, him and his fans. But anyway, I ended up sitting through the whole live show and there was nothing. The scam, he also told me on the phone that his fans asked him. So, whoops. I'm gonna go in here and prove to you that there is no comments of such. So, that's him messaging me. There's nothing about scamming. His profile. Hi Courtney, I see you. Nothing's there. If you want to pause it, feel free to pause it, but there's nothing about scam, so, scamming. Tell me, hold on, I'm telling a story, you need to take it, hold on, hold on. So, my manager told me that I need to be more gangster <laughs> and get some Jewelry, start wearing more jewelry. Cause if y'all know me, I barely wear anything. Like I took my gauges out. All I wear is like. I even As you can see, like, really nothing bad. about a scam. Is this and this and then my belly button and my tongue sometimes. Mm -hmm. So, so I, so when Frank was ring shopping for his girlfriend, I fucking I bought this chain. It was a gangster. <laughs> this. <laughs> Honestly, I sat through the whole stream and could not find anything about scamming. There was nothing. I sat there and it wasn't even that long. Now he's messaged me. Let's see what he said. I don't believe you, buddy. Now this guy, this is what he did to try to prove that Daniela blocked his wife. Roll it. Watch this dude pretend to click on, he's not even clicking on it. Bro, you're not clicking on the follow button. I'm not stupid. Trying to make it look like she blocked you and shit. Now I got Petty Page to block me and this is what it looks like, right? So. That's what should happen to the other guy. So as you can see, she didn't block him. That's another lie that he told me to try to push this agenda that Danielle is behind the fake account. Because if she's gonna block her wife on her real account, it must be Daniela. It must be Daniela behind the fake account. So when I was talking to him, when I was talking to him on the Snapchat, you can actually still see her photos. If she was blocked, you would never see the photos. Okay, so you can see her photos there. Um, go to her. I know you're lying, man, and let me tell you why. Because I can see you're trying to touch the follow button, and it's not working. Because you're not really pressing the button. Then you say you delete the message. The message is right there in front of us. So you didn't delete the message, nor did she respond. So your story isn't adding up, man. So after confronting him and telling him, well, how come I can see Daniela's 
uh, pictures. Ian does send in me this. This is my wife's phone. Funny because before I could see photos and now he's trying to make out, oh, it's because I didn't refresh the page. Well, guess what? You can't see photos when you block that person. I think I know what he did. I'm going to block Peter Mine and show you. How do I block him? Block. Okay. Okay, so I blocked Peter, right? Look! I can't see Peter's photos! Oh my god! Why? Because I blocked him. So that's what he did. He blocked Daniela Brigoli. And that's why you couldn't see the posts. Now let's get back to this twat because I do believe he got scammed by this fan account. This fake fan account has been trying to pretend to be the real Dania Bregoli. She did this by posting photos that she stolen from Daniela Bregoli's Snapchat. You can tell because she cut out what Daniela Bregoli wrote and she posted on her um, Instagram Snapchat thing, whatever you call it. Okay, so this Instagram account, right, the fan Daniela Bregoli page. Now, view story. No, yeah, view story. Let's view the story, right? Some old pictures of Daniela here, I think. DM right now if you're interested in buying this account. Blah, blah. Now, I gotta see if this is on the real Daniela Bregoli's Instagram. Because if it is, then we know this person has been stealing footage. From Daniela Bagoli. Real bad baby. This is from her YouTube. So this is the real one. And as you can see, that account took the photo from there. Obviously took the photo from there. That's what I think happened. And then posted it on Instagram. They usually do this so they can perceive the people and make it look like that it's the real Daniela. So the person, Shaniqua or whatever her name is, who's behind this account is trying to uh, perceive or try to make it look like she's the real Daniela when that is not the case. And this guy is basically making things more complicated by lying so I do believe he got scammed but I do believe he wants clout and he's trying to pin it on Daniela that it is really her when it isn't got scammed I do believe that happened and I also believe you probably thought it was real and you could get the account but I also think and I just by looking at everything the way you pretend to hit the follow button how you lied that you deleted the message when it was there by all this this shows that you're trying to push this agenda so you can get a lot of following because you think by using and tricking me you can get a lot of views this video could probably go viral and that you will become famous. I love telling you guys this because it shows you what I deal with on a daily basis, how I look into things to see if things are real and all that stuff. And if I do make a mistake, I own up to it, you know? So that's the type of stuff I do on a daily basis. There's a lot of people giving me fake stories or people with uh, their perception is so wrong and incorrect. You look into it and you find out that's not what happened. And by the way, Freud Prince ended up making a video and he ended up making a little diss track of me because I told him I was gonna make this video. But anyway, check it out. But you know what, when you mess with Royal Dane, you mess with Prince B and my wife, you crazy. So I had to come at you hard. You know what I'm saying? With that being said, man, I hope you guys like the song because I went off on this guy. I went off. You don't, you don't, you don't look at my story and because of somebody's status, you just think that she's too good to go out scamming people. Because it happens. So I'm out to get on you, boy. You was all on my Snapchat. You was all on my, my Instagram messages. Therefore, and then you called me a liar and then you said, oh, I'm, I'm going to make, I'm going I'm to cover the story and then I'm going to tell people that you try to sell me a fake story. Boy, I'm out to get you. Boy, I'm out to get you, boy. Don't, don't, don't ever. 
don't ever mess with Royal Gang ever again. Cause I swear to God, I'ma take your fans, boy. I'ma do like this. Mm, come here, baby. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, we finna go eat. Yeah, don't mess with nobody like me. Today, I, I don't need your fame anyway. I, I don't need your cloud today. I, I don't need your fame anyway. I, First off, you cool and the clicky claim. Prince B in this bitch, I don't need your fame. We're crime blood, it's your game for. Jake Paul's diss tracks are better than yours. That's how bad yours is. Like, holy crap. I think you're gonna grow by lying and giving fabricated stories on YouTube? Like, what? Anyway, guys, I know your guilty pleasure. Just to make sure you hit the subscribe button with the bell. Because if you don't, this loser is gonna say that you scammed him. So you better hit the subscribe button with the bell. Smash that like button and I'll see you guys in another drama video.